What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Keep Halloween Alive, where I want to thank you, everybody who keeps giving me private messages or just regular old messages on Instagram, Twitter, who says that you guys appreciate me making these videos, but it's me who appreciates you, and I'm sorry, I keep bumping this and making noise, but I appreciate you guys watching these videos because you guys make me feel that I'm not alone when it comes to Halloween being celebrated all year round because it's really more about who I am personally. It's not not just a celebration of a holiday to me. It's just my lifestyle. It's who I am personally. I love Halloween. You guys make me feel I'm not alone, and that's why I make these videos for you guys, because you guys should not feel alone as well. Now, what I did at the beginning of this video, if you go to Blue Lightning TV on YouTube, he shows you how to create a pumpkin image into a carved pumpkin. Now, he provides the picture, and he shows you how to step by step how to make it. Now feel free to do that yourself and send me what you created on Facebook because I would like to see it. I did that just for the beginning of this video. So now let's get into what this video is about. Now I had this idea of changing my toilet seat and I had a great idea on something to do but JCPenney kind of messed up in their description and said that this is just a regular toilet seat. I got it in the mail now I can't do my idea, but overall, I'm still pleased with the way it looks. I ordered a black toilet seat. Now let me show you what it looks like real quick. Now here's how the toilet seat turned out. The reason why I ordered it from jcpenny.com because they had the cheapest black toilet seat. Now my idea, well, I'll share the idea in a second. This is how it looks and turned out. I actually do love it, even though my idea has gone out the window, which I'll share in a second. In case if you want to do this idea, Feel free to send me a Facebook picture of that, and that way I can see how it turned out. But overall, I like this toilet seat. I think it looks good, the black here and the black here. Whoops, I'm knocking stuff over. I love the way that the black turned out. So, now here's the thing. When you order this, if you do this and you replace it, now if your toilet seat's broken on the little plastic strips from underneath the toilet seat where it holds it down, you might want to get some of those. The ones that it came with are cheap and they snapped on me during installation. So you might want to keep the ones that you have that are more sturdy and use those because that's what I did because as soon as I was twisting it, it snapped. So with that said, let me go ahead and get to the idea that I had for this toilet seat. Now the idea I had, I was hoping for a regular toilet seat because I was going to go to Etsy.com. Now instead of me just sitting here and explaining it to you, Let's go back upstairs again on the computer. All right, now that we're back at the computer, you can go to Etsy and just type in like maybe pumpkin cutout or something like that, pumpkin vinyl sticker, whatever you can come up with. So right here at Etsy, I found one to where you can pick a color, any color you want. So you can go there, or I'm not paid or endorsing any of these people, so order at your own risk I don't know because I'm going to order from this person because I like how you can choose all these custom sizes so I might put one on my car I don't know we'll see when that day comes but you can go to the face decals which you can see right here or you can go to a whole pumpkin right here and choose from any collars there now this seller has the same thing all kinds of different sizes but in my personal opinion I was wanting to do this cutout not the full pumpkin because you know the toilet seat being round I thought that would not like make the head part and I thought the cutout would look so cool on a toilet seat but unfortunately it's cushion so there's the trade-off right there it might be a nice cushion but I can't put this decal on it so keep me updated now I just thought of an idea when I was talking about this Let's go back downstairs to the restroom and I'll tell you my idea. Now that we're back downstairs again and now the idea was to put the sticker right here. I thought that would have turned out really cool, but that sticker's not going to stick to this little cushion because, I mean, it's common sense. It's not going to stick. It will end up peeling up and not stick very well. So I could order one. I just now thought of it. I could order one and place it right here. That might be a good idea, but... I'll keep that for another day, another video, but let me know if you do this idea. Keep me updated on that because I would love to see how it turns out. All right, welcome to the next part of the idea I have for Keep Halloween Alive. Now, what does that have to do with snow? Well, I was about to shovel my driveway and I just thought of an idea that you can do to create a meme, to create some kind of picture that you want to do to keep Halloween alive. Let me show you. 
Daggone, it's cold. Now, what you're going to want to do is, is grab any of your Halloween decorations. Now, it can be anything from skeletons to rats to pumpkins. Now, what I'm going to be using is, I'm going to be using a fake skull, and I'm I sure hope it's fake. I'm going to be using a pumpkin. Now the pumpkin's a light up one, so for obvious reasons I got the plug protected by a baggie so it doesn't ruin it or anything like that. Now what you're going to do is you can use any camera from mirrorless, DSLR, to even a cell phone camera. Use anything that you want. You should be able to get some kind of results that you want out of it. I'm using the Nikon D610 as I use for all my videos. Now what I had in mind is, I'm going to show you, I'm going to create some kind of meme and I'm going to create a real picture too to where maybe you can use it as your desktop wallpaper, your cell phone wallpaper. Before I start shoveling, let's create that idea and maybe if you take any, let me know in the comments below or just send them to me on my Facebook so I can check out what you created. Let's go ahead and start creating these pictures before I freeze my nips off out here. Alright, now what we want to do now that we're inside, let's go ahead and take some of these photos, drag them into Photoshop, and you can edit them any way you want, whether you use the cell phone or not. Just let me know, like I said, in the comments, or please send me some photos to Facebook. i like to see what you created. So, what I'm going to be doing is making it as pale white as I can, bring out the shadows. Uh, of course, I love contrast. Bring that up. Now we'll just open the image. All right, pretty much perfect so far as not really perfect. You get what I mean from what I'm shooting for. We'll just sharpen it up just a tad bit, make it a little bit more white. And there's the first picture. I'm gonna go ahead and save it and throw it up into the little movie editor so you can see it at a full screen. All right, here we are at the next one. I got an idea for this, so we're gonna sharpen that here in a second. Pretty much looks good the way I want it. So bring out the contrast. Uh, bring up the highlights. Whoa, too much shadow there. Let's just bring that up. Vibrance. Pump it up a little bit to pop that orange. Clarity. Just a little bit. Whites up. All right, now this is the part where we just sharpen it just a tad bit more. All right, now here's the part where you can create a meme if you want. You can just go to the crop tool. Drag it up a little bit. Drag this down a little bit. Now, if you had like a solid black image, it would create like a border around it, whatever you want. But I'm just making it a little bit bigger just to create the text maybe. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll create something right here, like, I don't know, some kind of text. Let's just make something off the top of our head, like a, uh, well, of course we want orange. Let's bring an orange text. I don't know, uh, And there's what that one looks like. Now I'll put this in the movie editor so you can see it at full resolution. And that's pretty much it. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you everyone for stopping by and watching. And I'm about to go ahead and warm up and maybe shave here a little bit because I'm starting to get really itchy. But thank you for watching. I'll try to do more for you guys in the next Keep Halloween Alive and just keep that spirit alive within your heart. Let me know on Facebook, this video, Instagram, what you're doing to keep Halloween alive. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll check you later.